Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sam and I am so grateful that you guys decided to click on my video. For today's video, I have a first impression and wear test of the new Urban Decay's Stay Naked Foundation. I am super excited to try this foundation. I've heard really, really good reviews and I was super excited about the claims that it has that it's waterproof as well as it is a matte finish. If you watch my videos, you know that I have oily skin and that my, my holy grail is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and that is like my ride or die like I wear that every day and it is just an amazing foundation that keeps my oils under control and I was super excited when uh, Urban Decay came out with this foundation because I did try the other one that they came out with the naked foundation and I really did not like that one so I was super excited that they came out with this one so if you want to know my thoughts on this foundation then just keep on watching so this is the packaging right here it is a glass bottle and I really like the bronzy gold uh, packaging up here it has a pump which I'm excited I love when foundations have a pump and I am now on the Urban Decay website and I'm gonna go ahead and read the description for you guys um, this retails for $39 and I did pick mine up at Ulta they do carry 50 shades which is pretty good variety the product description says find your naked truth with stay naked weightless liquid foundation our vegan buildable medium coverage liquid foundation with a real skin matte finish that lasts up to 24 hours I'm not gonna be testing it out for 24 hours. Uh, we designed this lineup of 50 shades with nine shade intensities, three master tones, and three uh, sorry, and seven undertones to dial in your precise color match. Our waterproof long wear foundation feels like wearing nothing thanks to a breathable, flexible formula that uh, moves with you all day and all night up to 24 hours. It only feels better, even it even looks better with its stay true color which minimizes the appearance of pores so you always look like you. I really like the claims. It claims that it is a matte foundation. It is going to last up to 24 hours. I like that they have a really big variety for the shades. Um, it's waterproof and long wear so we'll see how my oily combo skin um, you know like goes throughout the day with the foundation. I'm gonna go to work so it's perfect for me to like test it and see how well it's gonna last on my skin. I picked my nap in the shade 30CG, which stands for 30. It's like the um, the light, the lightness in the shade of the foundation. C is for cool and green is for the green undertone, which um, can be like olive tone. So that is the shade that I picked mine up. I will be leaving uh, the website down in the description box as well as I know that Sephora has like a shade finder. So if you wanna try that, be able to match your um, current foundation so you can match and find kind of like the shade that you would be in this foundation. I'll be leaving that link in the description box. Like always, I'm going to be using my sponge to uh, blend my foundation as well as priming my skin with the uh, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I did some you guys in so you kind of see my skin and see how um, the foundation covers my redness. I have a couple of imperfections down here by my jawline you can you can't really see them for me um the thing that i noticed that i really like in foundations is that it is full coverage and this is medium coverage buildable so that means that you can actually build it up to a full coverage so we'll see how well this foundation covers uh, my redness right here on my cheeks um, and it does say that it has a uh, pore minimizing kind of like in it so i'm not going to be using my pore minimizing primer because i actually want to see how well it works with like my pores I do have a little bit of bigger pores right here in this area as well as on my forehead I'm gonna go ahead and pump some of this in the back of my hand I'm gonna start with one pump to see how much that covers this is actually kind of liquidy as you can see I thought it was gonna be thicker um, just because it is a matte foundation so I'm gonna be using that pump on this side of my face covered my redness right here on my cheeks I can still see a little bit of um, my real like skin picking through but obviously because it is buildable I'm gonna go ahead and build it up for a fuller coverage but I can definitely see how it covered my redness right here as well as it, it did actually a really good job with my pores I did use any primer to minimize my pores and I can definitely see a difference between this side and this side I don't know if you guys can actually tell it did cover like my redness on my cheeks um, it definitely did cover it I just 
the the coverage right now is a little bit light for me so I'm gonna go ahead and grab another pump and see how well it uh, builds up I don't usually need a lot of coverage on my forehead so I just use what I have left in the back of my hand for my forehead as first impression it did cover um, kind of like my imperfections down here by my jawline I really like it is definitely buildable I did put uh, two pumps on this side of my face and even though I can still see a little bit of my skin picking through I really like how it did cover my whole redness um, it is already like drying so I really like that because I mean I have combo skin oily skin so I like that it's already like setting in place I really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and do this other half of my face and I'm gonna just use the two pumps like I did on the other side and distribute that on my face. I want to say that this shade is actually a tad light um, for my skin. Like I said this shade is a little bit lighter. Um, it definitely like matches my skin tone but I feel like I don't know I need I could have gone a little bit darker I think like one shade or two shades um, darker would have been like my perfect match but I mean I always guess when I'm matching my foundation so it's okay we're gonna make it work with bronzing and everything so as uh, so of right now um, the foundation is already setting in place I mean I'm always gonna set it with my powder um, but it doesn't feel like tacky which I've found with other foundations um, it takes a little bit longer to set and my nose is super itchy. It looks really, really good. I finished my makeup about 15 minutes ago. Everything blended really, really nice. So I am really excited to see how this foundation looks at the end of the day. Hey guys, so it is currently 9.45 p.m. and I just came back home. This is my face right now. And let me just tell you that I know that this foundation is gonna become one of my favorite foundations ever. My face looks amazing. You can still see, clearly see like my bronzer, you can see kind of a little bit of my bronzer, uh, my um, contour, a little bit of my blush. I wore this foundation for almost 10 hours and it looks amazing. Like I am so, so happy with this foundation. I think it's totally worth it. If you have oily skin, get it. It is so, so, so good. So um, up close, um, the foundation looks amazing. I can I don't see how, like the foundation breaking either like around my nose would usually like would break by the end of the day. I still have foundation like on my chin. Usually my chin and my nose is where it goes first. Um, but I definitely still have foundation on my nose and on my chin. Like my skin looks really good. Like I would have to only touch up a little bit with my powder, but like apart from that, like it looks really good. I don't, I mean I look a little bit oily, but just like a tiny, tiny bit oily. Like I would just, like I said, need a little bit of powder, but apart from that, my face looks amazing. You can definitely go to Sephora and like ask for a sample so you can try it out before actually like committing to the full size. Uh, but yeah, that is it for this foundation review and wear test. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and little button down there. As always, the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box, as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!